What's up everybody, this is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. What we're gonna be making today are some cod fillets with the citrus herb sauce. Anyway, very simple dish to put together, very healthy. I'm gonna bring you guys in, take a look at my ingredients, and then we'll get cooking. The ingredients we're gonna need for this, we have our cod fillets. You're gonna wanna make sure that you get as much moisture out of those as possible, so a paper towel over that's gonna work with that. We're gonna use three oranges, Two, two lemons and two limes and the zest of all of these and the juice of all those. We have a half of a red onion. Use whatever kind of onion you want. We're going to be using some kosher salt. Sea salt would be fine as well. We have some oregano and some thyme. Along with that we're going to just lightly dust it with some panko bread crumbs and we're going to need about four ounces of honey. Anyway, those are the ingredients. What I need to do is start zesting these uh, oranges, limes, and lemons and juicing them. When I'm done with that, we'll pick it up. So the next step is to make this sauce. Now we're going to make this sauce and we're going to reduce half of it and the other half is going to be with the fish as it cooks. So I'm going to kind of eyeball this. Use your own discretion, but I will have the actual recipe in the description. This is our time and our oregano and I already have the juice of all the uh, citrus fruits in this container this is our lime and lemon zest the orange zest I am going to go a little bit heavy on the honey because the limes had a little bit more juice than what I expected All right, and then our salt. Blend this up. Okay, now that that's blended up, I am going to go ahead and add my onions. I didn't want the onions to get totally broke down in there, so I'm just going to kind of hit it with a couple pulses once uh, the onions are in. get over to the stove. Now we're going to take half of our liquid and we're going to reduce that down. And this is going to take probably about 10 minutes. Now while we have our glaze reducing, I'm just going to go ahead and lay down just a thin layer of this sauce. Add my fish in here. Leave a little space in between if you can. If you can't, don't worry about it. And it looks like I'm not going to be worrying about it. Because these are going to be tight, but they will all taste the same. Alright, we got that in there. I'm going to hit it with some more of this sauce. Sprinkle it with some paint. Pa Dang, some panko break rooms. Just to give it a little bit of a crunch. Now, typically what you would do after this would be to add some butter on top of it. Since I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier, I'm going to skip the butter on this. And we are going to go with an olive oil. And I'm just going to use the spray. So there we go. This is going to go in the oven at 350 degrees. And it's going to be in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. So here's everything plated up. All I need to do now is get some of this reduction on top of this fish. and bring it back and taste it. Let's get down and see what this tastes like. It's 
So, as far as the fish goes, you know, it's kind of poaching in that, in that sauce, so you can kind of taste that coming from almost like the bottom of it. Then the top of it has that stronger kind of a glaze on it. So, one thing I did have to do, those lemons, like I mentioned earlier, were a little bit larger. So, I uh, had a little bit too much of a lemon taste. I did go ahead and add a little bit of honey, and that balanced it out. As far as the asparagus goes, I just tossed that in some olive oil, threw it in a skillet, and in the oven at uh, 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. And the, the potatoes, kind of the same technique. Um, I just put like a herb, kind of a seasoning blend on that. Same thing with the asparagus. The potatoes went for about, those are red potatoes, they went for about 35 minutes. Anyway, give this a shot next time you have some fish that's a little bit on the bland side. I'm sure this is something that, you know, just about anything or just about anybody would like. Anyway, thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.